So we were just cruising and uh, it just stopped. We just broke in and off. I'm gonna need to go get some oil. Hey, my name is Riley Sorensen. I'm back into the YouTube world. I haven't been there for a while, but I'm here now and I'm gonna do it with my iPhone, so it's gonna be easier, so I will keep doing it. I got a couple cool things coming, like a massage chair, an inversion table, bike rack, all sorts of different random things that I bought that I wanna review, including things like video process and how I film and edit my videos. The video I watched earlier, this guy had his prop, it was hitting against that screw, and mine will do the same, but it's made of plastic, so I think what happened with his as I see he was going, it just kind of shaved it off naturally. Um, it's got that 360 turning, pretty sure it's all air cooled. So you're going to want to get yourself a genuine chair. I don't know where that goes to, but it looks important. So I'm gonna pull up the instructions real quick. These instructions are not very helpful and I don't know what these are for. So I'm just gonna take them with me on the little inflatable raft to make sure, and if we need to do something while we're out there, we can, but so far it looks pretty good. This is my brother, Chad. He's the cameraman today, 20 minutes away. Let's go, Brandon. Recharging Intex pump. Looks pretty good. Get a nice, hot, secure connection. Forward. I'm not supposed to go full throttle on it for a while. I'm gonna inflate this a lot more, but it's not that loud. an engine, actually. But as you're going, you'll see that it's starting to push pretty low in the water. And that's because I don't have a lot of air in this. I think. So really, the boat's rated for one and a half horsepower, and this is four horsepower, that's what it says. I don't know if that's really accurate, but it kind of makes sense because as, if I give it more throttle, it just the motor just wants to push under the boat. So, but it definitely beats rowing, I'll tell you that much. But we'll step it up a little bit. We're gonna do some turning testing, all right? That's pretty good. It's basically got suspension with this flex material. Go get yourself some fish. Give me a girl. Have a picnic. Have a good time. So I'm running this whole thing at like, it's kind of reverse here, but I'm really only going about 40% max of full power. That's because it will probably rip the boat in half if I go any further. But it's a good, comfortable cruising speed. One thing I do wish is that it might be a little more stiff, oddly enough, so I could just kind of set it and forget it. But it's really not that loud, honestly. It's definitely not a speed demon. So we were just cruising and uh, it just stopped. But we'll see what we can do to probably just, probably just broke in and off. Nope. Okay. Not sure why I did that, but it's kind of turned off, but it's fired right back up. I bet you I know what it is. This is a, uh, a lot of air bubbles in the gas line so I'm wondering if the fuel 
it's not sucking it very well. Let's see if I can pump that a little better and see if this will fix our issue. Alright, so consensus, the air bubbles stopped going through the gas line, so it's much it's much more reliable, so that's good. The other thing is, I think I am going to extend this pole all the way up here on both sides. So that's what a guy did on the other, I saw on YouTube, and it, I think I can go a lot faster because then I can distribute the weight of the motor and the, and the thrust. Because otherwise, it go maybe two or three miles faster, which would be awesome. Otherwise, it's pretty fun for just trolling. So if you want to go tubing behind it, I'd recommend getting a 60 foot rope so you can clear the wake back there. So that's what I mean. It sits in there, kind of digs in, pulls up there. I'm not sure how long that would be able to hold that. So I might reinforce that or maybe even get just a little bit better of a boat, but it's still fun for hundred bucks of a boat. It's pretty good, can't complain. In case you're wondering what gasoline does. Just tire foam. I was, uh, I just left it in my car for a little bit while I hung out at my brother's. I put a gas tank down, because if you do it this side, oil will leak out. Um, so, I don't know how you can lay this thing down. Without it leaking. I know you're supposed to store it like this, right? But if I'm transporting it in my car, I really hope that didn't go on my seats, but it probably did. Let's see. Oh, we're lucky there. Anyway, that's one thing to know. I don't know how you store that without it leaking. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. All right, so driving home, I just want to do a quick wrap up. I think the motor is worth 300 bucks. The sputtering and having it die on me, I realized that I just had air in the fuel line. Um, so once I pumped that bulb, uh, a lot more. It stopped doing that and it was reliable again. So obviously this is just the first time so I'll have to just give it a go and uh, keep you guys updated through the comments below how it's going but uh, I definitely think it's worth it. As far as the boat and the motor mount, the boat is rated for a one and a half horsepower engine. This is a four horsepower engine so that makes sense. Um, I'm pretty sure though it can hold a 33 pound motor on the back there and mine is probably just that with the oil and the gas in there. So it's pushing it, right? If you were to get an electric one, I think it could be better. Uh, I just wanted to get a gas one that I know I could just fill up and go and not have to have battery charging and whatnot. If you like this video, please subscribe and like. It helps me out a lot. I'm gonna keep kicking out a lot more content like this. And if there's anything in particular that you want me to buy and review, I am all ears, so just let me know in the comments below. See you for the next one. That may conclude our first review of this fancy Chinese motor and inflatable boat. Thank you, Chad. Filming. <laughs>